Hey guys, today we're going to be showing the biggest thing we've ever shown on the channel. This is a broad decked root or beetle. And even though you can probably see it from here, let's take a closer look. Okay, so first I'm going to tell you how to distinguish it from other beetles, like a hardwood stump borer beetles, a female rhinoceros, and Hercules beetles, all those. So, um, they have these uh, little ridges on the side of their thorax. Yeah, I'm moving the antenna so you can see those there. Um, they also have these massive eyes, you can see there, how they go like up top of their head and on the side, right behind the mandibles. Um, but what uh, definitely distinguishes them the most is um, this bright orange yellow underside. Ow, ow, these grappling hook feet are just as sharp as ever. I think these are the sharpest here. Let me see. You see those little, ah, you see those little grappling hooks there on the feet? Ah, the back ones have one, the other ones have two. Ah, ow, oh my goodness, it really hurts. Um, these little Spikes on the side here are definitely jabby. Now, see these little things kind of sticking out the back that look like stingers? Those are called ovipositors. So they stick out like this long and will actually like work like a, like a shot. Like they'll stick them down into a soil, soil near a tree and lay the eggs. It takes like a couple years for those eggs to hatch and then they start feeding on the trees. Then the grubs, which are like this big, start feeding on the tree's roots. And a to the total lifespan of this beetle is about seven years, most of it their grub stage underground. There are overpositors right there. Uh, they're coming out. Uh, I'm not sure if she's laying again. I, I don't know what she's doing. Gosh, she's strong. Ow. The males are like twice as small as the females, and this is a pregnant female because you see, she has the ovipositors sticking out there. You can see there, right there. So, and her, her abdomen is really, really big. That's how you know it's a pregnant female. Now the males can fly; the females cannot fly, even though they do not have wings. And um, yeah, look at those giant mandibles. I will take a bite during this video, which I'm kind of afraid of. They'll have 12 segments on their antenna, so they can really bend them around. Um, now, like all beetles, they have a really tough outer exoskeleton. Reach out and feel that. Uh, I'm kind of afraid to touch it. Okay, it's just fine, but yeah. They're really, really tough. The underside's kind of rigid too, but not as rigid as the top. Really cool. Really, really cool. Um, yeah, just really, really cool. Now their diet, um, I didn't read about this because it didn't say, but most likely their adult stage is probably like decaying plant matter like most beetles. Their grub stage is obviously, watch out, there's a yellow jacket behind you. Um, anyway, so you got this here. Uh, little stuff here you can see what you see it bending down there see how that little white stuff there that's actually skin they have a thin layer of skin underneath their exoskeleton see that there wow yeah it's really really amazing animal really amazing animal love the big eyes but that's pretty much all there is to say so I'm gonna take a chop I'm actually gonna switch Ever wonder what it looks like to be chomped by a giant beetle? I just don't want to say its name is too long. Ready? One, two, three. Oh, no, kind of missed there. Uh, come on. Uh, hold on a second. Ready? I'm gonna use this one. Ready? Uh, uh. Ah! 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 Go! Go! Oh my 
gosh. See a little bite mark there? Ah, it hurts. Ah. Did not. Oh no, it did actually. It did break skin. Ah. Look at Brooks. Look at there. It actually broke skin. Ah. Ah. All right, guys. Let's release this beetle. Oh, look, it's injecting the thing into the ground. Look. See that? It's injecting it into the ground, see? Wow, look at that. Look, see, it's injecting its... Uh, yeah, move that acorn out of the way. What acorn is it? Go and bite the butt. Uh, look, it's actually sticking its... um. It's... Uh, Ovipositor. Yes, it's ovipositor into the ground. What are you doing? Don't disturb it. Wow, it's laying eggs in there. Yeah, it is laying eggs. As soon as we release it, it's laying eggs.